Hello, hello, hello. Hello. OMG, I am back. I am here. Um, my name is Rochelle McKay um, and welcome to my channel. Uh, if, you, if you're an old viewer, welcome back and I'm so excited to be here. Oh my God, okay. So as you can see, I'm very um, nervous, um, but at the same time, extremely excited and that's what's brought me to YouTube again. I, um, before I jump in, I just want to tell you a little bit because I know you've got to get this stuff out in the beginning of your videos. So basically today, I wasn't going to give you um, a reading because I thought I would touch base with where I'm at, what's going on and, um, you know, what's been happening in my world. And um, as you can see, I've got the balloons in the background just to celebrate that I'm back in doing this because I've wanted to do it for so long, but I've just but have not had the, the courage or the bravery to come back in for whatever reason. Um, and that's another story. Um, but basically, yeah, so that's why I'm celebrating. So that is why I've got all these pink balloons here because I thought I love pink. If you know me, I am a pink lover. It's my absolute... Um, I believe it's my power color, so it's a color that really just lights me up more than any other color in the color spectrum. So I brought pink to you today to send you lots of love to as well. But this is about you if you're watching this, right? So I just want to share a couple of things. So basically, I wasn't going to do the, the reading for you, but I've decided that I am going to. And I'm going to do a little bit different today for you. And then the up and coming weeks, we'll see what happens and what comes through and what gets downloaded for me to give to you. Um, but first of all, I just want to say hi if you're new and thank you if you're regular and you're already subscribed to my channel and you've got the notification to come back and you've just been notified this video has come out. Thank you. If you're one of my Instagram followers or Facebook followers, thank you so much for clicking on the, um, the watch button or whatever you want to say. Um, I really appreciate you so much for watching my videos. So here goes. This is what I want to share with you. So in the last um, six months, it's going to keep it really brief, but I will do a separate video on this. I have been going through a massive um, transition, you might as well say, and a transformation in my own personal life. Um, and mainly for my purpose and my career, I've had to almost um, clean out the dirt, clean out the gunk to arrive here today. And I still am cleaning out the gunk and cleaning all the, all the little shitty things that are been holding me back and keeping me stuck um, from the things that I know I'm meant to be doing in the world and serving and giving. Um, so for whatever reason, that was where I where I um, was and this is where I am now. I'm right here in front of you and I want to give you something. So basically, I, um, I just want to share with you that if you have felt like you know you don't know where you're going um and you haven't had clarity and you're afraid to take oh i've looked on the wrong side of the camera now. i've got to look in here sorry i've got a we've got a new camera to do these videos much better for you and i was just looking in the wrong place shit i hope that's still not distracting for you okay i'm gonna look straight in here um yeah so if you're if you've been in a place um i don't know if, for how long or just recently where you feel like you haven't been connected to yourself you've not felt clear um or this could be a, a repetitious pattern in your life where you constantly keep um doing the same things the patterns are reoccurring yes yes it's working okay just checking everything sorry this is a new camera so i'm just keeping it really authentic i am still getting used to this whole new setup um so if you've been there or you are there and you feel me and you hear me, I'm here for you and I see you and I feel you and it's okay to be there. Um, I say that with love because um, I know how it feels to feel lost and feel stuck and feel not clear and not have clarity and um, I'm still finding my way through all that. I feel like more times than less, I myself personally have been more stuck many of times in my career and not felt clear enough a lot of times and the clarity hasn't been there felt stuck in my own crap stuck in my inner critic stuck in um and it, that's not i'm not saying that's a bad thing but when we're in that place it, it can sometimes become habitual to be there and you remain there because you don't know what to do you don't know how to conquer those things and how to get through those things that are almost been 
um, I don't want to say demon, but they've been something that's been, you know, a huge blockage for you to further yourself and to get to where you need to get to. So I share that with you because, um, firstly, I love to be really authentic and I like to be really real and raw with you. And that's, that's been one of the biggest things that has, um, held myself back in the last six months. And it's been quite crippling because there was a lot of stages where I just wanted to give up because I didn't know what the heck was going on. And I felt like here we go again, I've gone around the merry-go-round and I'm back to the scratch one again. I'm back in that same place again, you know, and it's horrible. It's uncomfortable. It's it's not a good feeling to think that you're, you're lost again or you're stuck again or you haven't got clarity, you haven't got purpose. Um, it's horrible and I, I feel you, you know. If you can relate to that, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of different things with you on this YouTube channel around those particular areas because... Personally, I've been through those those things. I, I know how it feels. And I'm a big believer of you can't share or help any other people unless you've actually physically been through it yourself. Like you can heal others by just being present with your truth and your authentic life, meaning your authenticity, but your life, when you're really authentic with yourself, well, then it just is a natural spread. It's a natural energy um um, a natural energy, what's the word, where we, we, I give that to you because I'm being really open and authentic with you. So you sort of then start to feel into your own stuff and go, okay, this is really connecting. I'm feeling this stuff. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, that is so strong in me too as well. And I'm here to say to you that there is solutions. We, we can get through this. You can get through this, you know, um, and especially with everything that's happening in the world right now. Um, I believe that this is happening on a bigger collective scale for a, a huge reason for us all to come back to ourselves, spend more time with ourselves, and be true to ourselves. And so, when we've got more time with ourselves, when we take a breath and we're silent with ourselves, it all becomes so much clearer. Even if you struggle to be clear with yourself, does that make sense? So, I believe this time right now, 2020. COVID-19, I don't really want to talk about that, but COVID-19, I'm not being arrogant towards that, but I want to keep this really lightful and positive and um, uplifting and, and really help you in some way instead of talking about the things that ain't so good right now. But if we can look at it as a collective, as you know, we're all going to grow through this, right? We're going to grow through all of everything that we're going through right now. Um, yeah, well, I know for personally for me, that's that's what's been happening. It's like I'm growing through this more than I ever wanted to because I have to. Um, and my phone just went off then. So that just tells me I'm, my apologies. Um, and I'm just keeping it really real. I forgot to put it on silent. But it is on silent now. That's all that matters. That just pinged. So that's a sign that, yes, you are going to grow through this. So whatever it is that you're going through right now, you're going to grow through it, right? So the more we are aware and we face it and we accept it, that this is a part of something that we're all going through or you're going through right now, we can work through it. So that's what's been happening for me. And um, I know that everything that um, I'm going through as a mentor, as a coach, as a guide for you, an intuitive guide, coach, blah, blah, blah. Um, I know that there's, there's a message for you there. Like if, if you're here and you're watching this, you're meant to hear this message. So I've got you. And it's okay. So lots more is going to be coming through on that. But I just wanted to give you a little little bit of something, something there. And I'm going to do the fun stuff now for you, which is the reading. So the reading today is, um, I have done a reading for the whole of this video. Because I thought to begin with, instead of doing pick a card, because I used to do a pick a card, that the, I just wanted to do a reading for everybody. So if you arrived here, you can feel the pink love. You can feel my energy. And I'm sending that to you from my heart to yours. This reading is fully for you, 1,000%. Now, I'm a big believer of there's no, you know, there's no coincidences. What you get is what you get. And if you're here, you're meant to hear all these messages. So this is a very personal message today because the three cards that I chose for you today is from my very own personal deck. And um, back last year when I was creating videos quite con very consistently, every week for six months, 
Um, I did happen to mention in one of my readings that I was going to do, of course it's pink, <laughs> and the beautiful Trish, my girlfriend, who's an amazing photographer, she's spiritual and intuitive and she created these cards all from my, um, my I was just looking over there again, my apologies, um, she created all these cards from my own personal life and all my, um, I'm just making sure that that's working, yeah, um, all from my my personal um, things that I had done with her. So I had like uh, photography sessions, would you say, yeah, photo photo shoots. And it was all to do with my brand and my business. Um, and every time I'd done a shoot, I just grown and grown and grown and, and I'm at a different stage of my life. So every single card is part of my life. So this is really close to my heart. And so every card has a story, has a meaning, and it was part of my own life. So. I hope it really touches you in your heart. So it's from my own personal deck. And I'm going to say it on here too as well. I'm actually in the process of um, wanting to put a deck together that I can sell and um, give to people because I just am so passionate about um, oracles and tarots and how messages can come through so strongly and give us so much clarity and direction and they sort of like start they get that ball rolling within us so I've had so much um, my own, in my own personal life so much strength and good stuff come through from oracles that I know that um, there's a lot of other people searching for the same so here goes that's a little bit of blood okay the first card for you today is called passion I'm gonna put my glasses on so it's a little hamster hands so that's all about protection and um, it speaks about passion. So down the bottom it says passion, inspiration, and creativity. And it's got the anchor on it as well, the symbol anchor. I don't know if that relates to you. It's got fire behind it. So when we're passionate in our – the things that we're passionate for in our life brings fire. So it brings big energy. It brings um, – it brings out that purpose in us. Like when we're passionate about something, you, people can feel it, right? You can feel it. That's more important than anything. You can feel when you're passionate about something. And when we're not being, when we're not living our life with passion, right? Live life with passion is the quote. But when we're not living life with passion, something inside of us, we ain't, we ain't creative. So when we are using our passion, and we are, we all know what we're passionate about. Everyone knows what we love, right? You know what you love. Um, when we're when we're when we're taking control of what we are passionate about control that's probably not the right word when we're noticing what we're passionate about and we're true to what we're passionate about out comes the creativity so it's like boom creativity is just going to be like full throttle i'll give you an example so for instance me um and i'm not going to go into dates and times so basically over the period when i was lost when I lost my creativity is when I weren't being passionate. So when I'm not using my passions and like to my full advantage and I'm not noticing them and I'm not using them, I'm not creative. So this card comes as a reminder to you to say that are you being passionate in your life? The things you do every single day, you know, are you putting the things that you're passionate about aside? They're not got priority. Your passions have got to have priority because that's when we're more creative. And that means in all scales of our life, in our sexual, um, our sexual life, our, um, our business life, our personal life, our relationships, in um, everything, like everything in our life, when we're passionate, comes out the, the creative side of ourself, right? So you can be creative in all areas of your life you can be creative in the garden you can be creative in making cakes whatever it is but if you ain't using that 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 passion in your life that's when the creative goes down so that's the first message second message is a beautiful little washing card and i love this card okay this card was extremely powerful this was this was a bit of self-discovery this time in my life so there's the card there and you can see me sitting on a bubble and what the card says is, it says discovery. Do not overload or overcommit yourself. So when we go through a self-discovery of ourself, and any one of these cards might relate to you, who knows? Whatever, all the cards might relate to you, but just trust that when you get that go, yes, 
OMG, that really relates. It's the card. It's the one you need to really listen to. Rewind it back and listen to that card because it's a message for you. So when we're when we're overloading and we're overcommitting ourselves, right? We can't we we can't really discover who we are on the inside. It's almost like we're staying busy, right? And overloading our schedule, overcommitting ourselves, right? As in giving out to everyone around us and not back to ourselves. But when we are in discover, when we're discovering ourselves, and when we're really connected to our soul, all see all these amazing little chakras all around it, all around. So you got like all your different colored chakras. That's all the balls, right? And I'm sitting on the red one, and the red one is all about the root chakra. So when we are in that flow, and all of our chakras are all spinning really healthily, we're really connected to our root. We're connected to ourself. We are connected to who we fucking really are. Yeah. Like we are connected. So that's why it's so important that we don't overload or overcommit. And you know when you are because you feel depleted. So if you're depleted, right, and you feel like you've got nothing to give, that's because you're overcommitting, you're overloaded in your life. And you ain't going to discover yourself. Now this really does talk to the first card. You can see it's sort of resonating back to the first card. And this is like a whole collective reading for the whole of this um, video I'm doing today. It really relates back to it. So that's card number two. And then what I'm going to do this morning when I come out here before I even done this reading, um, I chose three different essential oils only because every oil has an emotional element and I thought I would just choose, and it's interesting, I chose three oils and then when I chose the cards for you, um, I thought, okay, each one of them oils, the first one, the second one, the third one are all for you in this reading. Okay. Third card, look at this, amazing, authenticity. And again, it relates back to the first two cards. I know this is turning a long video, but you're meant to get these messages, right? So it says, authenticity, sparkle, expanding, and shine. So it's pretty much says what it, it says what it does. When you're authentic in your life, and that means you are all of you, and you accept all of you. You are who you are, and this is who you are and you put that out into the world. Now, you don't have to be in business with, with anything like that. I'm talking just in your personal life, you're speaking your truth in your truth in your friendships, your love relationships, in your career, you are authentic. Regardless. That means no conditions whatsoever, right? You are sparkling in your life. Sparkle means like you're bright, you're celebrating, you're feeling amazing, you're feeling fulfilled, you're shining. So it's almost like you've got this, this aura, this energy that's around you that is just, it's got this peace and it's got this um, energy of, it's, it's fulfillment. People can feel it. So when people are around you, they're, they're sensing that energy off you because you're just shining. I always like to use the word, as you know, my Facebook group is called Shine Bright Babes. So you're shining bright. Because you are being authentic. Because all you need to do, all we all need to do is just be ourselves. Yeah, that's that's all we need to do. And, the, and obviously the third, the second word was expanding. And uh, we expand more when we're authentic. So the moment we start being authentic, everything around us just becomes so much bigger, richer, abundant. Everything just flows deeper from out of your heart chakra out into the world. Because it just it's like an expansion of how do I say, um, authenticity, that's what it is, it's bright, it's, it's, it's just got a whole other feel, and in actual fact, I just want to say this to you, when, when you're in that state too, sometimes it can repel people, it can actually make people be a little bit, oh my god, you know, too much, but can I just say to you that if that is sometimes how people, other people feel around you, that is honestly not your stuff, your stuff is just you doing you. And I don't know if that relates to you or not, but that just come through for me really strongly just then. But you just need to do you, right? So those cards are all so perfectly rhymed, aren't they? Can you believe that? Okay, so the first oil for the first card I chose was, um, I'm going to get, hope I get this right, marjoram, right? Now, marjoram in the emotional book, so it is doTERRA, but I'm just, it's just the old brand that I love. So marjoram's emotional meaning for card number one, which was a just which was the passion card. So if that related to you, that card, you went, yeah, yeah, that really speaks to me big time. It's the oil of connection. 
So when you're basically when you're I'll just read you the little negative elements and then that might relate to you. It says you distrust yourself, aloof, protected, distant, emotional isolation, reclusive, emotionally cold, or fear of rejection. So using this beautiful oil, and I mean you can just imagine using this beautiful oil. I don't know if you know the smell of marjoram, but marjoram. Um, you can just like imagine that you can smell the beautiful oil. You don't have to actually have the oil, you can just imagine, yeah, yeah, I know what marjoram smells like. And just really, you know, feel into that oil. That's all you need to do. Um, then when you feel into the oil and you get the scent, you get the smell like, you know, you, if you think about roses, you know what roses smell like. If you think about geranium, you know what geranium smells like. So it's the same thing. So you don't need to have the oil. I'm just sharing you the properties of it, okay? Then the positive properties are, is open, connected, close relationships. You feel warm, soft-hearted, loving bonds, ability to trust and safe, which is connected to passion. So they're both connected. Isn't that incredible? Second oil was I got for the second car, and the second car was Discovery. And the second oil I got was Jupiter Berry. I don't really use this oil very much. This is quite interesting. And I feel it really does um, relate. So it's the it's the oil of um, oil of night. So it says that you've got irrational fears, recurrent nightmares, and restless sleep. But then, the, if you, again, if you can smell, I mean, this is a very unusual smell, Jupiter Berry. Um, positive properties are protected, dreaming, courageous, self-aware, and the card is discovery. Can you believe that? Like it just is perfect. And then the third one was the amazing, and everyone knows what sandalwood smells like. I mean, sandalwood is the bomb. Sandalwood was the third oil. And check this out. This is mind-blowing, this one. Like, I just, this really, I reckon, speaks to the whole reading. Authenticity, remember, was the card. And the oil is called the oil of sacred devotion. So it says negative emotions are you disconnected from God, your spiritual self, you might, if you don't believe in God, it could be just your spiritual self. Emptiness, overthinking, and materialism. But the positive properties are humility, humility, spiritual devotion, spiritual clarity, stillness, surrender, and higher consciousness. Higher consciousness, consciousness is connected to authentic self, authenticity, 1,000%. So how deeply connected are those oils to those cards it just blows my mind ah, holy moly like seriously that just like when i done the oils and the cards separately as i said i've done the pulled the i pulled the the little sweet this morning and then i've done the cards I, it just blows me away that at separate times when i've done these and that's how strong intuition can be in all of us that it's always spot on. It never misses a beat. It gives us what we need. It tells us what we need to hear. But are we listening? Are you listening? So that's my beautiful YouTube video for you today. I really hope you've loved it. I am so grateful um, for each and every one of you that have watched me over the, over the last year. And I'm grateful if you're watching it right up to this. Like, thank you so much. Um, and I'm so excited for what's about to unfold in the future in the new path of YouTube for my lovely people that I'm connected with um, and I'm so happy to be here even though I shit my pants before I got on this video <laughs> not quite literally but the fear was there let me tell you it took a lot of courage it pretty much took me 24 hours to come in here and do this with you and I played some serious head in the critic games with myself and I sabotaged myself by doing other things and not bringing this to you. But I know I'm meant to do this because it just lights me up every time I do it. Something inside of me, I get like this almost emotional feeling that I want to cry because I, I just get to give this to you. And I know that there's people out there that need this. Um, we all do. The messages, I mean. I'm, I know that one of you there need these messages. So I'm going to send you lots of love and light in this hard time that we're all going through and just know that all you need to do is just stay calm stay still have faith and work on you in this time okay love you all love
Thank you so much for watching my channel. I appreciate it. And if you can, if you've never subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel because I'd love you to continue on this journey with me. Love you all loads. Bye. <laughs>